the superpower of curiosity. I say curiosity is a superpower because it is a prime motivation behind all existence. Our lives are ultimately an answer to the question, I wonder what would happen if, which some would say are famous last words. What would happen if I dumped these Mentos into this jug of Coke? What would happen if I jumped off this roof with this umbrella? What would happen if I put peanut butter on this grapefruit? You get the idea. Curiosity has driven us, just like the cat, to some regrettable experiences without the nine lives to fall back on. It's the culmination of bad ideas that has been the primary reason we've reduced our own power and have come to judge ourselves as stupid and incapable. But, ultimately, the painful experiences we've had at the hand of curiosity were really demonstrations of our ignorance, or denial, of one of our deepest and most powerful superpowers. The misapplication of this superpower has led us to suspend our gut-level intuition about consequences leading to those painful outcomes. In this dualistic universe, Curiosity is a double-edged sword. If it is applied to combining powerful potentials, consequences can be risky, even physically dangerous. Curiosity is, therefore, best applied to realizing new potentials, new horizons, and discovering new ways of finding enjoyable life experiences. How do we do that? By asking the open-ended question, What else can happen here? What greater experience is possible? How does it get even better than this? The energy of curiosity directly drives the physical universe responses to those questions. By correctly using curiosity, we can utilize our condition of not knowing to tap the infinite reservoir of possibilities, bringing greater and greater manifestations to experience. Curiosity drives our imagination and all knowledge. It is only limited by our allowance of what is possible. That's why it is said that the condition of not knowing is infinitely more powerful than knowing. This is because what we know is already defined by definition. It is the known territory, the answer to a previous question. And as with all answers, a limited set of potentials are possible. As Albert Einstein has said, imagination is more important than knowledge, for knowledge is limited to all we now know and understand, while imagination embraces the entire world and all there ever will be to know and understand. When we step into the realm of infinite possibility, we approach the cosmic power of potential, the power that creates universes. We step into this infinite realm of possibility on the magic carpet of pure curiosity. It's not the curiosity of wondering what would happen if. It is the curiosity of what new and wondrous creations are possible now. We are curious about what is greater, higher, and more amazing, beyond imagination. It is curiosity that is the engine driving all life. It is God asking itself, what am I? and the infinity of experiences roll out without end. In manifesting experiments, it has been demonstrated that asking those open-ended questions is many times more effective than visualization techniques. This is because by visualizing, we limit what can be experienced to a specific result, reducing the aperture of possibilities to known values. Although this is desirable in some cases, it denies greater possibilities. Being curious about what else greater is possible addresses the basic goodness of creation. It reveals that the foundation of all things is love. Evil can only destroy what has already been created. Love creates without end. Evil is a chaotic and incoherent expression of love. And as the infinite love creation rolls on, those chaotic expressions dissipate into the harmony of cosmic order. Thus, by asking the open-ended question, we allow the love creation to create more of itself into existence for all to feel and enjoy. Because we've all been burned, sometimes badly, by our misapplied curiosity, we suppress it. 
just as in Curiosity Killed the Cat, we set up a red hazardous area warning about asking for something greater, or even questioning the status quo. We end up in a predictable comfort zone, content to find more ways of keeping it that way. It is a sort of crisis of faith, as we lose the desire to be curious about the potential greatness of our life. And if we get in a glimpse of something greater, we don't believe it, turning our focus back to our comfortable pod. Faith is superseded by its curiosity, and this is why it is a superpower. Faith requires sustained belief in something, whereas curiosity only requires remaining in the question. It is immune to circumstances that would otherwise disprove the expectations of faith. The only expectation of curiosity is that there is something greater. And in this way, we plug directly into the loving heart of God, curiosity without end. It is our greatest superpower. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX. www.pureenergyrx.com.